Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, this partial lunar eclipse is taking place on November 19th and it initiates a new cycle of collective developments related to the Taurus Scorpio axis. So to break that down for the next two years, we can expect transformations in our relationship with money, tangible goods, agriculture, food, shared resources, intimacy, sexuality, pleasure, comfort, and our sense of stability. Powerful emotions are likely to bubble to the surface as this lunar eclipse engages in an easy-flowing relationship with Pluto, giving us a sense of renewal, emotional transmutation, and release. A tense opposition with Mercury and Scorpio adds another energetic imprint on this eclipse. So new truths come to light, which may shock us and also confirm our intuitive insights. But above all, we're nudged to get back to basics and expect unexpected changes as with all of all eclipses, but also understand their purpose to help us stay on our true soul's path. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through for you for this full moon partial lunar eclipse in Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages come through. We have the Page of Cups, beautiful. The beginning of intimacy. Um, this can be an apology. This can be an offer. This is somebody offering you love or you offering your love or your heart to someone or something that you're going to be very, you want to emotionally invest in. Now rem remember my new moon and my full moon readings are not necessarily about love relationships, although they certainly can be, but it can be about emotionally investing in your career, in your spiritual journey, in your, in your family, in your pets, like whatever it might be, Aqua. This is a beautiful energy because it's like initiating a new cycle of love. What you're leaving behind is the Seven of Swords. So it's like you've been given information, wisdom, some sort of vision. You know what has been holding you back. Um, something that's been draining your time, your energy, your love, your money, your resources. You could be leaving behind a connection or a group of people or a situation that was lying, cheating, deceiving, stealing from you. This is moon in Aquarius energy. So it is your energy. So it may even be an aspect of yourself that was sort of sabotaging a connection or a situation. But it feels external to you, to be honest. Okay. What you're moving towards is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is conflict, it's um, struggle, it's strife. But what I like about the Five of Wands, it's a minor arcana card. And it's about a sharpening or a honing of your skills. Um, it's about using your adversaries and challenges as opportunities to shine your light and see how much you've grown. And I feel like you're doing some very, very heart-centered work. But it's also going to be very challenging for you. All right, we have the Empress in reverse. Some of you guys, you're leaving behind a love situation that wasn't growing. It wasn't honoring your worth and your value. For some of you, it may be even a long-term connection where you found out that somebody had somebody else on the side or somebody that was always promising you to leave somebody else for you. Um, it can also be a situation where just you weren't able to grow and create within the confines of whatever that situation was, a job, um, a partnership, um, a creative project, something on your spiritual journey. Um, it's like you need to, it's like you're stepping into this divine feminine power because something that, something was being kept from you and that wasn't allowing you to step into that divine feminine sovereign power. Now remember, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine energy, so it's not gender specific. Strong Libra and Taurus coming through. Seven of Cups in reverse. What I love about this is you're shattering illusions. You're seeing things for what they truly are. And that's allowing you to move past whatever the Seven of Swords situation was for you. So the Seven of Cups is like you're seeing past fear and illusion. You're seeing things for what they truly are. 
you're seeing that there was a situation that wasn't growing, that wasn't honoring your worth and your value. You're fighting to leave it, and I think you absolutely are. And like I keep hearing, they just keep telling me you're doing heart-centered work here. The high priestess, you're trusting your intuition. Some of you guys were in a situation where you were a mistress or you were kept as that silent third party, and you're seeing that now. But I also see that you're looking at your adversaries and your obstacles as and challenges as a way to shine your light because you've had some sort of intuitive insight. A lot of my Aquarians, you're viewing a situation completely differently because you're seeing past sort of the social matrix, the 3D matrix. You're seeing you're seeing like what really truly matters and focusing on that heart-centered work that you're doing. And even though there may be challenges at first to this sort of new timeline that you're stepping into, you're learning to trust your intuition. Many of you guys, you're receiving a major psychic upgrade. You can be or will be or have been dealing maybe with a Cancer or Pisces. And we get the Eight of Wands in reverse. Interesting. So what I'm seeing here is that you guys are stepping into the highest expression of yourselves. What you want to manifest may still take some time. Because I see the Empress in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Right now is a time of challenge. As you, as you shift timelines, you're going to be leaving behind lower vibrational people and situations, Aquarius. But you're seeing clearly. And it's almost like I'm getting that you, were, you felt like you were either running in circles or you were running into so many obstacles that you couldn't move forward. But that's shifting and changing for you. But there was something that you needed to see clearly that about a situation, a relationship, a job, something, an, an aspect of yourself that was holding you back. And there are challenges to moving into this higher vibrational timeline, but you're doing it. All right. And we get the three of cups. Yeah. For a lot of you guys, there was some sort of, there's emotional exhaustion with whatever this situation is. And I do keep going, getting like a love situation where there was some sort of third party, but it can also be, you know, if you were trying to create your own business and it was like, you know, somebody kept getting in the way or, you know, there, there kept being sort of tower moments after tower moments that were keeping you from sort of walking the path that you wanted to. And I, I feel like very clearly that you guys are moving through this, moving past this energy. The Eight of Wands in reverse takes us to the Seven of Wands. There's still struggle. Um, there's a need to protect that heart chakra, protect your vision. But you will be achieving what you want to, but it's not going to happen overnight, okay? But a lot of you know that. And the High Priestess is also a nod to the fact that you may not see a whole lot shifting and changing in the 3D reality. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes to bring you your wish fulfillment, okay? So we get... Capricorn so there may be something in the Capricorn reading for you some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn but you guys are your ambition realism and methodical steps you're taking those because you realize you've got to start now if you ever want it to unfold and we get cancer so we have Capricorn and cancer coming out a lot of you guys you are you are on a twin flame or a soulmate journey Okay, but you needed to leave behind a karmic situation first. You need to purge and release this. You need to heal and find balance. You are very unexpectedly going to be calling somebody in. This is the same axis, but opposite ends. So that's always a nod from my guides. Um, a symbol that we're on, like there's a deep soulmate connection, if not twin flame journey present. We get the 12th house. This is spirituality, transcendence, karma, sacrificial service, and healing. So there's that, you know, that high priestess energy. A lot of you guys, this 12th house energy is you guys are, you guys may be learning to trust your psychic visions, your dreams. Some of you may even be starting careers as psychics, empaths, healers. Um, but this is sort of, and you're recognizing the karma, the experiences that you've been through are honing these skills so that you can impart the wisdom and transmute this energy and impart that wisdom to others. Beautiful. And we get Scorpio. Wow. So we get Scorpio energy, intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. Yes. And you're in the thick of it right now. You're in the thick of it, Aqua. And we get fixed. Your sign, your energy, stability persistent loyalty and dependability wow so scorpio you might you and we get scorpio and aqua are both fixed signs so interesting energy don't stop 
You're working towards your stability. You need to be persistent, be loyal, dependent, but show up for yourself, Aqua. Like I said, it's not necessarily going to be an easy journey, but you're in the thick of it. You're exactly where you need to be. All right, let's keep going. And this sort of, this came out in the cancer reading and I keep hearing it. It was something I read on Instagram from one of my favorite readers, um, Bell's Tarot. And she, she said something to water signs. Um, you know, when we're in the middle of baking a cake, we can't just turn up the oven because we want it to go faster or we'll ruin all that hard work that we've been doing. And this is kind of the message I'm getting here as well. Like you can't turn up the oven aqua and ruin the hard, hard work that you've started. Of course, it wouldn't be ruined, right? But, you know, it would sort of cause delays and frustrations. Just keep going is what I hear. Keep going. You're doing it. You may not, you may not see it quite yet, but the rewards are coming in. Okay, the benefits are happening, taking place. So we get the Moonstone Star. I'm... I'm entering a portal of euphoric love. Yeah, and it's like it's like you've had to sort of fight your way to this portal, but you're about to get there, Aqua. And the mirror. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. Yeah. You may be calling in a mirrored soulmate. Again, some of you could be on a twin flame journey with this Cancer Capricorn energy. But I also feel with this Scorpio energy, this 12th house energy, this Cancerian energy, you guys are receiving major psychic upgrades and something here that was holding you back or was detrimental to the love that you had for yourself. You weren't able to see or step into your power with the Empress energy. Now, remember, if we're in a situation where we're breadcrumbed or we're kept as a third party, and we're not in agreement with it or it's not what we really truly want. This can be very hurtful and painful for your self-esteem the longer it goes on. So I feel like a lot of my aquas, you're embracing that. You're recognizing that. And that can be also like at, at a job or in a friendship. Like where it's like, you know, if you're like, okay, let's, let's hang out on Saturday. And then somebody blows you off all the time or doesn't meet up with you. Um, you know, aqua, it's hard. Like no matter how, how tough you might be. Um, if that, if your boss is always offering you a raise, but never gives it to you, you know, you start to wonder, what am I doing wrong? Or is it me? Am I not good enough? Yeah. My aquas, you no longer search outside of yourself for home. Absolutely. And I feel this really empowering energy around you. Like you're just doing it for yourself. You're getting rid of situations, people, beliefs that are holding you back or that are detrimental to your self-worth. Or standing in the way of you loving yourself. All right, let's see what final messages come through. We get Mandala of Pegasus. Look at how beautiful that energy is. I'm going to read from Alana Fairchild's The Pegasus Oracle. And the message here is, this Pegasus reminds you that you belong to a beautiful divine plan that is unfolding at all times. Even if your life sometimes seems devoid of spiritual blessings, there's always a deeper guiding purpose at play. Always an opportunity to heal the past and become free. Exactly. That's what you're doing. You're setting yourself free. And with this five of wands, you might not see all these divine blessings, but there's a plan. In time, you will understand how the universe is working to your benefit. You're asked to relax even when you do not understand what is happening. Instead of reacting, remaining persistent and curious, knowing whatever is occurring cannot harm you. You will find the wisdom way, the beauty way, the healing way, and the mysteries of your life will transform and reveal themselves as blessings. That which seemed to defeat you shall become the stepping stone toward your healing triumph. Now, you guys, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. This message is a message that I did today. It was very similar to what I just read to you. And it was um, very powerful taking, it's about transmuting energy. And that's exactly what this is all about. You're stepping into that power, Aqua. All right. Um, anyway, if these messages res, oh, I'm not done yet. Oops, sorry. They're reminding me, star seeds. Final messages for my Aquarius, please. No limitations. I think Gemini got this. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is so much for you to share. Yeah. And something was keeping you back. And now you're doing that heart-centered work. And you're going to take off. Okay, Aquas? Yeah, magnificent. Because your birthright. 
is magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. Yeah. And there may have been a person or a situation or programming or imprinting that was telling you otherwise, but you are purging and releasing that Aquarius. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Sending you guys so much love and light. If these messages resonate with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to ring that notification bell, that little wiggly bell. It will update whenever you, whenever I upload new content. And also, down below, you can find the links to TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me on those platforms as well. Sending you guys love and light. Take care.